Welcome to Dragonfly Trading. My name is Carrie, and I'm a full-time Elliott Wave trader in the crypto and forex markets. Today's video is going to be an update on Bitcoin and ETH. It's going to be on the lower time frame and what we can expect here in the near future. If you're interested in my perspective on the higher time frame, I have gone over it in my last three or four prior videos. But today's video is just going to be on the lower time frame. And remember, this is not financial advice. This is just the way that I see the market and I plan to trade it. Okay, so we're starting out on Bitcoin on the four hour time frame. In my last video, I talked about the expanded B pocket and I talked about that hopefully we could hold this support here. And it looks like that we have held the support so we're going to dig into this little move up we have here and go over the bull and the bear scenarios so in so what we have here is where is my pen there it is okay so what we have here is a three wave move up and then we have a three wave move to the downside it was able to not break the low so I am looking at this is either a W or an A this is either an X or a B And then depending on what we do here, whether we do a 1, a 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be C. Or we do a three-wave move would be Y. It's just a difference in labeling and what this last leg gives us. At this point, when we get this move up, We're actually going to be completing an A, or W, sorry, just thinking there for a second. Now all of this in the middle is a big three wave move. So it goes like this, here to here, to here. That will create the X or the B on a higher degree. And then this final move up will cre create the Y or the C of a higher degree. Now in my prior videos, I talked about that we need a partner. And we will need a partner at that point. This will be our middle connector, as I call it. And then we will need this move to the downside. So the higher this leg goes, the better. So that this partner can be higher. Okay, let's dig in and closer here into this leg here. To me, this looks like a five wave move. We are making a correction here. What we're actually making is a flat in the middle here and then we will get an A, B, this B can come up high here. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to end. 
and then we're going to get a C to the downside. And we're going to come in and hit one of these Fib levels. And this is going to be the first leg of either an A, a B, and then we're going to get a big C up. And that would create the Y. Or this is a 1, a 2, and we're going to get a 3, a 4, and a 5. And that would create the C wave. Okay, so it can go in three waves or it can go in five waves. Now let's try and get some projections on where we think this move can go and what we need to watch out for, okay? Okay, so when we pull a Fib extension like this, the 618 is coming in right at 34203. That is the first area that we need to watch out for. We always have to watch out for the 618 for a truncation. To get some more confluence, we're going to pull from over here. Let's change the color to white. And as you can see, there's two areas that these fibs are overlapping. Right here at 42,000, 42,000 to 42,172. Okay. And then there's another area right here at 37. 100 to 37, 250. These are going to be my targets. There's one other area, but I'm not sure if we'll get up that high, but I'm not going to rule it out. It's between 49, 800, and 50,000 where the other two fib levels are coming in together. But this would have to be a really big flat. Not that it wouldn't be invalid because a flat can go to the 2.618. That's the last highest extension it can go. So it can get up this high if it wants to. So first target second target, third target. Now, there is always a bear scenario, always. There's always a bull and there's always a bear. So if there's a bear, and I had to think about this for a few minutes to come up with it because I'm more leaning absolutely to the upside, I am leaning that way. But there's always a flip side to it. So what would it be? Well, it would be that this three wave move down created a W. We're going to get some kind of three wave move up that's going to create an X and then we'll either get a five wave or a three wave which would be the C or a three wave which would be the Y. I just didn't put the A and the B over here like I usually do. Okay, And that would be still that expanded B pocket I'm talking about. 
so it would hang around here more and then still come down into that pocket the 1.236 the 1.382 full, pulling a fib extension from this low to this high but then we would still need that leg to the upside because we're missing it it's got to complete here so this leg would still need a partner it just would drag it out more so the bear is not really tanking you know but it's just making this prolonged I don't see a scenario where we just roll over here and tank I'm not saying that it can't happen because anything can happen. The market is random and it does what it wants. So this just totally just going can always happen. So always have stops in place. But if you're going to play this leg to the upside now, invalidation is this low at 29.260 on linear scale. This low right here, if you're going to play this to the upside. Okay, ETH. ETH is the same exact scenario here. We created this three wave move to the upside. Now we've created this three-way move to the downside. It was able to not break the low, just like Bitcoin. And we're looking for the same exact thing. Either we're going to come up here in three waves, and it's going to make it a W, X, Y, or we're going to get five, and it's going to be an ABC. And then it connects like this the higher this goes the better because we will need this leg over here to the downside so the higher this goes the higher this leg will go bear scenario is the exact same thing as Bitcoin that this is going to get prolonged and we created this move down that's going to give us a W or an A we're going to get some type of three wave move up which is going to create an X or a B and then it's either three waves to the bottom or five which creates the C or the Y and we come into that expanded view pocket which is this pocket right here and then we still need the leg to the upside we would still get the leg to the upside to complete this whole move and then the partner comes I am leaning more towards they were going now. I am leaning more towards that we're getting this leg to the upside now. And the higher it goes, the better. I want to see this go ahead, complete itself, and quit torturing us with this sideways movement. And we, we have a really good looking move to the upside here to me this looks like a sorry about the dogs barking this looks like a five wave move they bark at the wind everything so what do we do we pull a fib extension from low to high
and we will be targeting if this B wave doesn't go any higher they're not lining up very well so I would say that this might be going to be going a little higher and now they're lining up so I'm targeting actually all of these I mean it could hit any one of them oops and don't rule out that this can truncate and come as shallow as the 236 again but I'm targeting the 382 and the 0.5 Okay, so that is it. That's the update on Bitcoin and ETH. Let's get this move to the upside and finish this so that we can get our partner wave, which we are going to have that partner wave, unless I am completely 100% wrong about this count, and I don't feel that I am. So let's get this move to the upside, guys. That would be nice, wouldn't it? All right. Well, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful day.